Hello everyone, my name is Shonda and welcome to my channel Under the Needle Quilting and Crafts. Uh, this is, I'm going to get in trouble for this. People aren't going to like this. But one thing I don't do is lie. And um, I need to say this. We need to be able to get along. Like we share this country together. Millions and millions, hundreds of millions of people. We share this country. And we have to learn how to get along. I was watching a video today. Today's Sunday. Adrian's Atlanta Falcons aren't playing at 1 o'clock today like they, they normally would play at 1 o'clock on Sunday. But they're not playing at 1 o'clock today. They are playing later. I forgot when it is. And so he went fishing. And so since he's out, I'm just kind of all over the house doing various things. I've been working on these little uh, quilt as you go mug mats. I didn't realize they were going to be so big. Um, so I'm kind of going between my craft space and my bedroom, doing a little laundry, you know, cleaning my bathroom, just, you know, just doing some stuff around the house. And while I'm doing that, I do what I always do. I've got my earbud in and I'm watching YouTube videos. I got to stay out of the YouTube comments. I think I'm going to challenge myself, um, at least for the rest of the day. And I'm going to think I'm going to try for a week to stay out of YouTube comments because um, they're, they're upsetting me. I was watching a video. And, and I think YouTube, they, they do it on purpose. You know, sometimes if you're watching a YouTube video in portrait mode, sometimes it will show you comments. Like, even if you don't go to the comment section, it'll just put comments up there that you can see. And I saw one that upset me. Because it's ridiculous to me. I was watching a YouTube video. And the content creator was walking their pet. And as they were walking their pet, they passed by someone's yard, and that yard had a political sign in the yard. And the commenter clearly didn't agree with the political sign that was in the yard, because if they had agreed with the political sign that they saw, they wouldn't have left their comment. And their comment was, you showed a political sign. Now I can't watch your videos anymore. It's a shame. Because you were walking your dog. And for one second, I saw a political sign for a candidate that I don't personally agree with. And so now I can never watch your videos again. Now, if you showed me a sign I agreed with, then I could have kept watching your video. Because it wasn't even in your house. You know, it's not like the sign was in your house. It's not like you had it up behind you. It's not like you were, you know, putting it up in the camp. You just you were walking by. Saw the sign. Kept walking. Didn't comment on the sign. And that was just a bridge too far for some people. It was a bridge too far where they said, I can no longer support you as a content creator because in one of your videos, I saw a sign for a political candidate that I don't agree with. And I feel like that attitude is what's wrong with our country. That attitude is so, you know, many, I am 48 years old. The first time I voted was in 1994. I voted at my local fire station. There was a fire station that was on the street where I lived and that, that was our polling place. And that was my first vote. And I've voted in every presidential election since 1994. I have worked with and been friends with people who voted for different people than I voted for. But we were still able to be friends. We were still able to be coworkers. We were still able to have conversations and we just agreed to disagree. Why can't we no longer agree to disagree? What is happening that we can't agree to disagree? We're just the sight of something that we disagree with. 
just the sight of it, the sight of something that we don't agree with is so, is such an assault to, to us that, or not to us, but to some people, just the sight, just the sight of something that you don't like is so appalling to you. Just to, just to, just to see it in existence. I, I don't understand that. I don't understand that. I, I don't. Somebody help me. Somebody help me. Explain this to me. I am, I am a woman. I'm a black woman. I have experienced sexism in my life as a woman. I've experienced racism in my life as a black person. But I does, it doesn't make me look at people who have done that to me and be like, I don't like any of you because this has happened to me. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand it. It's really, it's really upsetting me. Somebody explain it to me. Why we have gotten to a point where we, not only can we no longer, not, we, it's not even just we can't agree to disagree. Just the mere sight of something that we don't like. It's like, oh, God, no. <laughs> what? Yard signs? With all the poverty in this country, we worried about yard signs? We have, we got poor education school in our schools. You know, our children are hungry. A lot of these kids can't read. People are poor. People don't have health care. College is unaffordable. Homes are unaffordable. If I didn't buy my house when I bought it, I would have been locked out of the home the homeowner market. I would have been locked out of the housing market. I was fortunate enough to have purchased my house in 2015. If I had not purchased my house in 2015, I never would have been able to buy a house. My own house is too expensive for me to buy now. It has been for quite some time. 2019, I could no longer afford this house. The house that I live in. And from four years from the day I bought it, four years later, I could no longer have afforded the house. And I make a pretty decent income. I mean, the minimum wage has been stuck at $7 and some daggone change. I make a lot more than that. Many times that. I'm not, I make, a, I make what is considered a solid middle class income. But if I didn't already own my house, I, could, I would not be able to buy a house today. Those are the, prob the, those are the problems we have. So why, why, are we, why do we care about yard signs? Why we focus more on, I saw a yard sign in a content creator's video while they were walking their dog, and we care more about that than homelessness. I, somebody help me make this make sense, please.